want to say first off, welcome. Welcome back, Boo Gang. Welcome back, darlings. Of course, it is your girl, Ariel Michelle, aka Barbara the Goddess, and I am Bizak with another video. So today's video is going to be short, sweet, cute, and to the point. I'm going to show you all how to refresh your high puff. This puff is about mm, four or five days old. I'm getting a little fluffy, getting a little frizzy, and looking like little kids that have been running around the playground. So now it's time to refresh that. So the first thing I did, I just missed it. My hair was warm and a little bit of conditioner that was it make sure I got the perimeter of my hair this leave-in conditioner y'all is oh okay I have been using this for a minute and I love this leave-in it's like a curl repair I love this leave-in conditioner y'all I have been using it like faithfully and this jar was literally like $5.74. You know, of course, you got tax and all of that. But for the price and for the size of the jar and everything, it gets the job done, okay? It gets the job done. So I'm going to get like a good couple dollops of daisies. And I put that all around my hair, make sure I smooth it. I grab my husband's brush, the, that boar bristle type of brushy brushy brush. And I'm going to smooth and smooth smooth and smooth now i'm about to get a little old school like my mama and pull out some of this grease yes i said grease when i tell y'all grease has a nice hold believe it or not you know believe it or not so i didn't feel like using gel this hairstyle i have not used no gel in this uh high puff and i didn't want to use no gel for sometimes i don't like gel i mean i like gel but today i didn't want gel so I just been using literally just my leave-in conditioner and grease. And I tell y'all, it's got my hair so shiny, so soft, so moisturized, curls defined and everything. Look at that. Okay. Just have to show y'all that. And it's so smooth. Like I said, y'all, my hair just, oh, uh, my hair just been soaking up the grease. It's been soaking up the water. It just soaks it up and locks in the moisture. And yes. And sometimes what I've noticed is with gel, over time, it'll kind of clump up and get flaky and all of that. And, you know, I don't have time today. So after I've done all my smoothing, I'm just going to go on my uh, little elastic band and just kind of pull my hair through. Just get that fresh kind of tight look and kind of just hide the little humps or whatever I got going on. And then, of course, I'm going to spray my hair with some water because water is your friend. And in that water bottle, I got like a little bit of conditioner. So I just spray that in there to refresh, do a little fluff, fluff, little fluff, 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 and that puff is refreshed. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And this is an additional step, well, an optional step. If you want to just kind of smooth the back, I'll put like a scarf on the back of my hair. I'm going to show y'all. and i hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to this channel i pray y'all have a blessed day and an awesome new year make sure you mind your business this year mind your own business tend to your own business tend to the business that pays you and if it don't pay you then you definitely need to mind your own business all right i'm out bye we are so glad you came bye bye Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye-bye. Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thank you.